Tell yes or no you want me to answer or you want me to go into details? Just, with, just, just yes or no with a little bit of detail. Okay, because by now, since we've started the conversation, you should have actually understand that. So the answer is yes. I said before we care for each other. Okay, but yeah, I just wanted to... Well, what wasn't answered is, is there anybody else involved? It's just you two together, that's it. Yes. So that's why I asked you if you have English as additional language. It's obvious. Right, okay. Um, next question. Um, is your husband receiving any treatment from a district nurse at the moment? He is diabetic and have other conditions. He works with the, his GP. So he's on, he's on different types of medication. They portion it out so he's able to... Don't have to work it out. It's all worked out. Right, okay. And um, is, is he under any hospitals for any ongoing treatment? He'll be back at the hospital. I'm sure it must be for his eye check on, on his birthday, the 8th or 10, 50, or 10 something. We'll be back at the hospital. So that's okay, his major we, treatment we, because we, they were recommending for him to do an operation. But then afterward, he wasn't going to do it anyway. They, they said there was no reason for it afterward. But he's had ongoing treatment, yeah? Okay, okay. And so this, this is an eye clinic at, at which hospital? King's. King's, okay. Um... In terms of his, so his previous medical history and medical conditions, um, you mentioned that he's, he's diabetic. I think it would be best if uh, for that, uh, uh, the full details of his condition to be addressed with his GP. Okay, um, we, we don't need the details of them. We just need the, um, the names of the conditions he has. I'll, I'll check um, if we... Can you move on to the next question, please? I mentioned diabetic. He has a whole host of other conditions. Can we go on to the next question, please? Right, okay. Um, do, you, do you know his height and weight at the moment? No. You don't know that? Okay. Right. Um, next question is about his home environment. Um, are, are you living in a council property or is it housing association or... It's a housing association property. He's here with me because I refuse to go to his, ho to his home because of domestic violence. That's how I get this place. So I didn't go to his home. So he's here. Well, he's not registered down to my address. Okay. So, right. Okay. So you, you, he's living in a housing association property with you, right? Yes. But he has his own home. His son is there. Okay. Um, is his own home in Southwark? It's in um, Wilson Road. <laughs> Wilson Road. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, right. And the, your your property, how, how many how many bedrooms has your property got? And if it's a flat, which floor is it on or is it, is it a house? I, I am on the ground floor. There's another neighbor on the upper floor and it's one bedroom. Okay, so one bedroom ground floor. And what, sorry, what was the name of your housing association? Housing for women. They turn they, they they turn traitor. It's called housing for women. It's called housing for women. Yes. Okay. And are there any pets in the property? Any what? Are there any pets? in the property any animals my 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 neighbor has a cat right okay and in terms of access to the property um is there a key safe or would you be able to or would he be able to provide access to the property say that again in terms of access to your property um is there a key safe with a with a spare set of keys or um is you are yourself or, or him able to get to the door to provide access? I don't know. Once housing for women take my key, so they might have spare key. I always have spare. You do you know how an OCD person uh, operate? So I have two of everything. He has his key. I have my key, and I have a spare one. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and next question is about mobility. Um, do you have any, in terms, of, do you have any issues with mobility that's, you know, preventing you from looking after your husband? I am diabetic. I have arthritis. I've had treatment, so it's not so bad. I okay. get the, all these cramps. I have sciatica, and as I said, my most, my biggest concern is when I am in depressive mode and I don't function. And I, 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 the fact that it, 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 my mind goes back to my mom who would have dementia and I, sometimes I'm worried that what if he couldn't help himself? So there are those times when I don't function and he has to take on the care of both of us. Okay, so you're, you're able to... You have, you have episodes, but you, you, you don't around on sorry I'm not gonna take this call and it's disturbing me and I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> to don't hang up don't hang up I, I just trying to do uh, not uh, to make sure you don't answer uh, sorry I get into a pickle when these things happen okay I didn't get the other question please yeah, that's okay so when you walk around in your home you don't use any walking aids Oh, fuck. Feel free to answer that quickly. I'll no, I don't want to answer it. I prefer to do this. This is priority to me. The other person can call back. Right, okay. Okay. I I do a lot of walking for my own whatever, so I don't have I wouldn't say I have much mobility problem unless when I get the cramps and sometimes my because of I have osteoarthritis, so sometimes that's a problem. I try not to get seized, but I have pain rubbings for that. My okay. my husband walks with a stick. Okay, he walks with a stick. Okay. Okay, and um, have you have you had any problems with with falls at all? Um, with what? Any problems? With, have, have you had any problems with falls or your um? Stability and strength and balance. The only thing I, my concern is there are times when because of a bad back I can't come out of bed. So that's my okay. big biggest problems. And as I said, um, whenever I get the cramps, I I work them out or use. I have my pain rubbings and and sprays and everything. So I try to as much as I can not to get seized up. But if I, for example, okay. if I'm sitting for long. My feet and whatever, I have to stand up and work them out. So I'm mindful of all those things. Okay, but you're usually, you're able to, you know, stand up. When, you're, when you don't have crap, you're able to stand up from your chair. Yes. Any problems. Okay. 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 And... With a shower and the bath, um, are, you, are you helping your husband to take a shower and the bath? Would you believe all I, I, I do for my husband is um, cut his nails? He does everything for himself. That's why I'm saying we are so blessed. So can you imagine oh, if I had to so, do... So he, he yeah, he does everything for himself. Okay, so that includes... C cooking and no he's at this stage all he can do is boil two eggs and make toast he can't cook any well he does but not as before and even his eating it's not like before he can't manage meat or anything or like that it's 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 more down to once a man twice a child right okay but he does help himself so that's why I'm saying if, if he wasn't able to, to fend for himself, we would be dead by now. Because there are times when I just don't function, I don't cook, I don't wash, I don't eat, I don't sleep, I do nothing. Okay, so and so, so when, when you're having your depressive episode, he, he manages. Yeah, he has to. He, he looks after you as well as himself. Exactly. Right, okay. So we are a team. That's why we said we look after each other. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, under, I understood that. So this is what jo Joanne was saying before. She, she's concerned that when you're having these, that your periods where you're, you're feeling 
depressed and low and you're less able than you usually are, mm -hmm. that your husband is not able to look after himself, but that is not the truth. But but what 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 um when I'm not able to cope, I, I I'm guilty that he can't he can't manage, he cannot cook properly, do a proper meal for for both of us. So if we have when I'm say for example I'm going through these moments, if I have a place that I could turn to, let me give you an example. Before COVID, I used to go down to the Walworth living room. So at least I go to the one Walworth living room, I get a proper meal. So at least one proper meal per day. But just imagine when I'm not able to function, what is happening? Yeah? So both of us are at a lose. So if I have somewhere I could call on, or someone I could call on, or a place to say, okay, pre-warn them or give them an inkling that at this time I'm going through this um period of not being able to cope how can they offer any support for me and my husband during that time it's it's not gonna be permanent it's just those times it, when i need it happens in phases where exactly like i you i need somebody to talk to sometimes and i'm fine but if i don't have anybody to talk to that's why i used to call the ambulance i don't call them out anymore because they are they are triggers because they have one aim in view Let's get her out of this house. She's going to be sectioned and then they, their work is done. Right, okay. Okay, so you're, you're, look, you're mainly looking for ad hoc support in different phases, but usually... Not permanent. No, it's, it's not permanent. And my, 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 my husband wouldn't want anything permanent. He, that would be taken away from his dignity. Yeah, of course. So we, we, we want to um, keep people as independent as possible possible for as long as they possibly can be but i just need to understand what your needs are and it's it's really just for um for support for you when you're having a low period um how how often are you having these um sort of depressive periods and how long do they usually last for i can't tell you that at least Depends. something i i can witness something and it, it's like a traumatic experience, something that happened before and it just brings this feeling on. I'll be sitting here and, and hearing something and just start crying. And So okay. it must be... You don't, you don't want to discuss that. Sorry? You, you don't want to discuss how, you know, how often you're having... Because you're, I'm, I'm just trying to explain to you that I cannot tell you that it's going to come on at X amount of time. There are triggers. For example, the first time I started having suicidal thoughts was the sudden death of my neighbor, Danny. And after I'd been to the court and what H.A.J. Parfit done. Yeah? Because I've had, I've, I'd had, I've had um, CBT and he's saying whatever, whatever. So there, there are triggers. I can read something in the paper that triggers it. I can see something online that triggers it. So I don't yeah, you, necessarily you don't can't say it's going to happen X amount to X amount to X amount. But sometimes talking is good. If I have somebody to talk me through, just let, uh, let me talk and I'm okay so it doesn't last that long. But it's when the thoughts are going round in my head because I have nobody to talk them through with. That can be very devastating. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, right, okay. In that case, what, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to speak to our senior practitioners to see if um, see if there's any other sort of support that's available to you and um, I I'm going to get in touch with Joanne as well to um, to let her know about um, what can be offered yeah I'm fine with that okay that's great I used to talk to Susan Young I swear her name was Susan uh, Sharon Young, Sharon, Sharon Young. Sharon Young, okay. She's a lovely, she was a lovely lady. She used to ch like chat and, you know, very good, Sharon, in terms of conversation. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can, I'll, I'll look on your previous case notes to see if there's contact information for her as well, and we'll see if um, they can be involved in supporting you. Okay. Yes, yes, I've run the gauntlet. Everything I hear about, I try. Everything. I've been to the listening project. I've been to this, I've been to that. Social, um, there was um, another one and they, then they had social prescribing. And then 
they contact me, then they're gone again. You don't hear anything from them. Okay. What's right, that? Okay. Um, th thanks very much for your time, Miss Myers. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. When I get the pen pushers, when I get the pen pushers like this, I'm explaining to the man, whatever, whatever, and he's asking me stupid questions. Yeah? I tell him I don't want nobody come read from no manual. It's about respecting me and whatever. So that's why I started recording him. Let the world see what I'm going through. Yeah? I'm the expert on my case.